what's the source of this evolution to this comfortability that you have reached? Yeah, that's a great question. And I still think I'm striving to reach, you know, that yeah. total comfort. Uh, I can say one thing that's affected me a lot lately since I took this job at Penn State. I've only been here for, I just got this job. I just finished my first semester. Final okay. exams are Tuesday. Um, there are, somebody did a study and they found that there are fewer than 10 black female college band directors in the entire United States, period. And fewer than 16 in the history of the United States, black female college band directors. I'm the first black female college band director at a D1 university in the history of the United States. And so that, I don't mean to say that to be like, ooh, look at me. I mean to say that because I talked a lot about representation and this shift. Yeah. And I've always thought I need to do these things to be accepted in this field. Yeah. I have to dress this way, Places. right, you know? Yeah. And then it really started to sink in. There's 10 of us and I'm the first one at this, uh, in a power five school or in a large university. I don't have to try to be like anybody else because there isn't one. <laughs> so what I do, that's going to be the that's marker. Right. And they hired me for a reason yes. and I'm good at what I do. Yes. And so, you know, if I want to wear this, if I want to wear my hair like that, if I want to paint my nails like this, I'm still giving excellent instruction. My students are still yes. professional and focused and poised. Like why should it matter that I wear hoop earrings? Yes. in a professional space. Like I think I need to make it my job to show what professionalism is. Yeah. And so that thinking like that helped is uh, slowly helping me <laughs> to yeah. get where I want to be. Mm -hmm.